Today we are going to study about acid bases and salts. We are going to start with acids. The word acid comes from Latin acidus which means sour. The reason citrus fruits for example are sour is because they contain acids. Vinegar, lemon, grapefruit, grapefruit and spoiled milk all are sour because of the presence of acid. These acids which are present in animals and plants material are called organic acid. Acids. Acids are substances which dissolve or dissociate in water to form hydrogen ions. All acidic solution contains hydrogen ions. The most common acids are nitric acid HNO3, hydrochloric acid HCl, and sulfuric acid H2SO4. These are very corrosive acids and are called mineral acids. Concentrated and dilute acid. Con the concentration of the solution depends on how many hydrogen ions are present in a liter of solution that is mole per liter. So we can make concentrated solution or sorry we can make diluted solution from concentrated solution by adding acid to water. We should never add water to acid. If we add water to acid then maybe the acid will react with water and therefore it will splash and may burn you. So we have to always be careful when we are diluting uh, acid. So we should always add acid to water, not water to acid. So it says concentrated hydrochloric acid contains five or more moles of hydrogen ions per liter of solution. Whereas dilute hydrochloric acid contains 0 0.1 moles of hydrogen ions per liter of solution. Now strong and weak acids. Strong acids are those acids which completely ionizes in water to give a large amount of H plus ions. Example like nitric acid, hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid. They are all very strong acids. Weak acids. Weak acids are those acids which partially dissociate in water to give a very small amount of H plus ions. Example of this is acetic acid and carbonic acid. Now we move down to bases. Bases are chemicals which react with acid to produce salts, salt and water only. Another way of defining a base is to say that it is a substance that accepts hydrogen ion from acid. Some bases can dissolve in water to make solutions. Bases that can be dissolved in water are called alkalis. So we can also say Alkalis are those substances. All alkalis, we can also say all alkalis are bases, but all bases are not alkalis. Only those bases which are soluble in water are called alkalis. Alkalis dissolve in water to produce hydroxide ions, OH minus ions. For example, we have sodium hydroxide, NaOH, potassium hydroxide, KOH, ammonium hydroxide, NH4OH, calcium hydroxide. That is also known as lime water or slaked lime, CaOH whole 2 and sodium oxide, Na2O, potassium oxide, uh, K2O, calcium oxide, CaO and ammonium oxide, NH4O, o, NH4 whole 2 O. So these are some example of bases. Now we move down to another topic that is indicators. Indicators are substances that change color if they are put into an acid or an alkaline solution. Three common used indicators are litmus paper or solution, methyl orange and phenolphthalein. If you look at this table, we have indicators, acid, the neutral color. That is means that means its original color and alkali. Litmus will always that means the blue litmus will always turn red in acidic solution. Its original color is purple. It will turn, red litmus will turn to blue in alkali, alkaline solution or alkali. 
phenophthalein phenophthalein original color is colorless in acid it remains colorless and in base it will turn pink many times we use phenophthalein in titration process of titration methyl orange the original color of methyl orange is orange and it turns red in case of acid and yellow in case of alkali universal indicator universal indicators is a mixture of indicators dyes universal indicator paper is a more sensitive and useful test than litmus paper it has a range of colors and is used to find out if a solution is a strong or a weak acid or a strong or a weak alkali if you look at this universal indicator uh, ph value paper and indicator paper you'll see towards the left hand side we have strong acid which is reddish in color then we have weak acid which the ph value we'll learn after this it turns four is weak acid then neutral like water pure water is a neutral substance it will be green or and the, it will be seven whereas we have weak alkali which is 10 and strong alkali which is 13 so you can see different colors of the universal indicator paper and that will indicate how strong the acid is or how weak the acid is or also about the neutral substance also so we call this as universal indicator next is ph scale ph scale we can see there is a scale at the bottom of this universal indicator paper graph you'll see one two three four five six seven then eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so in this scale seven is neutral six five four three two one will be, be our acidic solution and eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen are basic solution so with this scale uh, ph value we'll be able to find out how strong and weak an acid is or if it's an acid or a base or it's a neutral substance but with the ph paper we only used to use it for recognizing an acidic substance and a basic substance but here we can find out whether the acid is a strong acid or a weak acid or strong base or a weak base or it's a neutral <coughs> substance each color represents represents a number on the ph scale the ph scale measures the degree of acidity or alkalinity of a solution very strong acids have a ph value close to 1 and they are dark red while weak acids of the same concentration will have a ph value bigger than that of the strong acid neutral solutions have a ph value of 7 that is green usually pure water and even sodium chloride will be 7 strong alkaline solution have a ph value of 13 or dark purple so this is about the ph scale in our next part of acid base install uh, salts we are going to study about the properties of acid and base we are also going to study about acidic solution uh, acidic oxide basic oxides and amphoteric oxides we are also going to study more about the salt this is only part one so thank you students i hope you like it but please see the other part to understand the whole chapter on acid base and salts